Hey guys, this is Matt. Hey Chris! Hey, get out of here. Okay, well we're going to be doing an unboxing video for the new Xbox 360 250 gig slim, whatever you may want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's begin. Hey, new 250 gig slim Xbox 360. Oh wait. No, that's not it. The 360! Not the slim. Darn it. And finally... Really, dude? Yeah, really? Dreamcast, yay! Woo, Dreamcast! Great, and here it finally is, now that all the joke's over, the new Xbox 360 Slim, the 250 gig hard drive, and five USB ports instead of just the three on the other Xbox. Touch sensors for the push button and power button. And, well, let's get into the unboxing. Well, let's begin. Okay, why? So that's how you open it. Yeah. I ripped my box just apart. Alright. Okay. That's a lot simpler. Well, let's see here. I just open the box, and first of all, you get your manuals. No one needs those. No one needs those. Just throw it away. And Xbox! Got it. We don't need that in either, right? You don't need the Xbox? No. no, don't worry about that. Just worry about the box. The box is what this whole thing is about right now. And it has little little foam pieces on the inside. <coughs> and the Xbox is just, here's the foam piece. Rockle. It was just laying on in the top. And inside, it has the controller. I'll show you everything inside first. Controller and headset. New headset, all black, unlike the white and gray, like the old headset was. Throw in my headset. New controller, you would you like to take it out? Do you care if I just remove this? Not too late. He destroys my stuff. New controller, also all black. Um, it doesn't have the gray trimming like the old black controller has. It has that uh, gloss like the, um, the new Slim Xbox. itself has. And then you can see that the analog sticks are also all black as well as the D-pad. Um, unlike that gray, like, the old controller was. And then also the guide button has the chrome finish just like the Xbox, chrome. the Xbox power button. And we'll show you the Xbox here in a second when we get everything out of the box. And here is the power brick, which is significantly smaller than the old one. Uh, here, take this out. Be aware that the uh, plugins is different than the old power brick was. So this power brick is not going to work on the old Xboxes, and also vice versa. How the? Oh, okay. Chris just failed to open himself. Okay, there we go. Okay, and as you can see, the brick is different. It's smaller. Um, the cord is not very thick and very hard to move. It's actually very flexible, which I like. It's more like the AV cables for the old Xbox. And like Chris said, let me take this off. It's not, it, it's not taped, but the AV, or the power, is actually a lot, very much different than the old one. It's like two... Two uh, prongs. Yeah, two prongs. So that's oh yeah, how, double A batteries to go with your controller. Yeah, give me those. You have the Xbox, I want the batteries. Hey, right, come back here. Okay, what is next? Here we got the AV cables, which Chris... This is so much easier to pill. open than how I open mine. I'm so upset that I just ripped the box. Shut up, phone. Phone fail. Standard AV cables. Um. What I do with, I still have the uh, HD AV cables from my old Xbox. Those will work on the Slim. The plug-in isn't any different at all. Yeah, the plug is the exact same thing, and the only thing is the new Xbox, it just comes with the three standard. It doesn't come with the red, dark green, and dark blue. Like, the those are the HD cables, and it doesn't come with HDMI or anything, so... I mean, if you have an HDMI cable, which... It'll work. Yeah, if you have one for your old Xbox, then there you go. But like me, I traded mine into GameStop, so I didn't have my old AV cables. 
but I didn't really do anything with HD, so if you're more of just standard, if you don't have an HD TV, then like you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and the last accessory that is in this box is just, you know what, I really don't have to open it. It's the other half of the power brick, just uh, plug that into your wall to make your Xbox work. Yay, plug and wall. That's everything? <laughs> Alright, well, since this is your Xbox, I'll let you do the honors. Don't drop them. Yeah. Yeah. I'll... What if I really did? I'd be like, give me yours. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> and one thing I want to say is the new Xbox has, like, the very glossy finish, like we said. So It's, it's... a fingerprint magnet. Yes, fingerprints. So, also, it's probably very prone to scratches. So, I'm going to very carefully open this so I can save the film. One pair of gloves? No, I'm good. I'm going to save the film so if I ever take my Xbox anywhere, then I have this film that I could put in it so I could just pack it up and it won't get any scratches on whatever I have. Oh, upside down. Fail. See, you can see the chrome finish on the new power button. I'll wait till he turns the red side up so you guys can actually see what it looks like. Or that way. That works too. However you put your Xbox. Alright, as you can see, here's the uh, chrome finish on the power button right here, if my finger's not in the way. Um, it's touch sensitive, so like if any of you have the problem where your button breaks because you, you know, it wears out after a while, you won't have that problem because you just touch it instead of press it in. Same thing with the um, disc eject button. Yeah, disc thing. eject button. <laughs> It's very small and it's above the disc tray instead of right next to it. That's also touch sensitive, like the power button is. Um, um, here is where the USB ports are, right here. Uh, it's just you push it in just like the old Xbox. I don't know if you could really see, but you just push in this little tab and you can see there's the uh, little barcode. And the button right above it is how you sync your controllers. You just, that's where the sync button is. Yeah, he could not find it. He I dumped. couldn't find it. Okay. Also notice that there's no memory card slots, so if you have your profile like I did saved on a memory card so you don't have to worry about recovering your account anywhere like that, um, you're going to have to get a flash drive instead of a memory card now because there's no memory card slots anymore. Flash drive. Flash drive. Okay. Okay, so here it is in all its glory. Uh, we already showed you the front. Here we'll turn it to the side. You can see the new fan that they have. Let me, there you go. That gets very hot. I was playing on my Xbox yesterday and I was curious on how much heat it was giving off and I put my hand over it. That gets extremely hot. I'm not even lying. Well, as they say, it's supposed to be whisper quiet. It is. Yes. Chris already has one, so. Well, let's turn it this way. I was amazed. Ignore my tape. So, here we go. Uh, here is the AV jack. That's the regular, same as the old one. Right underneath it, it has the HDMI. Um, right above it, it's your Ethernet port, just like the old Xbox. Then they have four USB ports back here. Or three. Actually, yeah, three back here, and there's an auxiliary port right here. Um, this is for what? This is for audio output? Yeah. Uh, then here's your power supply right here. Uh, here the sticker for the warranty, I guess for taking it apart, so don't take it apart. Um, Chris, do you know how to get to the hard drive? Yes, I know how to get to the hard drive. 